What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on that contains a number of different realistic rigged cars that you can bring into Blender really easily. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna check out the City Pack Cars add-on by the guys from B Production. They're the guys that bring you the tree and vegetation add-on as well as the transportation add-on. So this one we're looking at the city cars pack and basically what this is this is a collection of 18 different urban cars that you can quickly bring into Blender. And so the way this works is you bring it as an add-on and then inside your preferences in your add-ons you want to make sure that you enable transportation city vehicles. And so when you do that what that's going to do is that's going to give you a window on the right hand side of your page if you tap the N key. So when I tap in it's going to be down here at the bottom and you can click on this and you can use it in order to bring cars into your scene. And so this library contains 18 different cars and there's also options to bring them in at low poly or high poly um, levels of detail. So for example, let's say I wanted to bring this BMW in. Um, notice how there's options over here for HD or low poly. And so let's say I was to bring in the HD version of the car. That's going to take a little while longer because that's going to have more vertices, obviously, than the low poly. And so if we look at this, you can see how this brings in this very detailed mesh. Now I do want to say, if you look at this, and so let's say we wanted to look at a low poly vehicle. So let's say we were to bring in maybe this like this Hyundai. So if I was to click and add this in, and we were to take a look at this, they look very similar from a quality perspective, but this one is gonna be way lighter than this one. So if we were to turn on the wireframe, for example, the hood is a good example of how much lighter this is going to be than this is going to be. So generally speaking, I'm finding myself using the low poly a lot. I think they, uh, I think they render out just as well as the high poly, but if you do need those close in detail shots or other things like that, the high poly ones are gonna look good too. Um, so I will also note that with these vehicles, you can set if this comes into the world origin or at the location of the 3D cursor. So there's some other functions in here as well. So the first is snapping vehicles to the ground. So this can be really, really helpful if you have multiple different vehicles inside of your scene that all kind of got brought in at the same level. Well, you can just come in here and you can just select them. So you can do a shift click like this. Then you can click on the button for snap vehicle to the ground. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna take these vehicles and it's gonna move them down so they're touching the ground without you having to go in and do that manually, which can be a huge time saver, especially if you're dealing with multiple different cars. So one thing this, these low poly ones especially are good for is adding uh, like vehicular context in the background or something like that. So if you'd have a scene with a bunch of different cars, I would say you're probably best off using the low poly cars for everything except what the camera is actually going to be focusing on. So another thing I'll note is right now if you were to select one of these vehicles and let's go ahead and let's just bring a new one in over here. So let's say I was to add maybe the Jeep in here and click on this right here. So first thing you might notice is if you try to tab into this right now it's not going to work right if I tap tab it's not letting me edit the vehicle so these all come in by default not being editable inside of your scene now that being said what I can do is I can click on this button for make editable for animation really you're going to use that for the animation functions but if you were to click on it here you can get in here and mess around with the topology of the meshes and other things like that so if you decide so if you do decide that you want to come in here and edit those, you can click on the button for make editable for animation. So now I want to talk about one of the coolest features contained inside of this add-on, and that's the rigging of the vehicles. So once you make this editable for animation, and notice this is only going to work once you make it editable. So if I was to, for example, click on this car, what we want to do is we want to go into pose mode. Well, notice how this vehicle, which I didn't make editable, doesn't go into pose mode. However, this one, if I click on the rig, I can put it in pose mode. And so when you put it in pose mode, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to move these different parts and pieces of the rig around. And that's gonna allow you to control things like where the tires are facing, where the vehicle is. So if you move this forward or back, notice how your wheels are gonna turn, as well as things like drift. So drift, notice how you can move the back end of the car around, your front wheels stay facing forward. So you can also adjust how the vehicle is sitting on the shocks by adjusting this option right here. So notice how you can move this around. So another thing I do wanna note, and so if you wanna go further with this, you can download the free Riga car option 
from the link on the sales page right here. They have a video here kind of showing you how that works. But one of the things that it allows you to do is it allows you to link the different parts and pieces in there to like parts of the ground. So for example, um, and this is if you download the free rig a car extension, but see how if you link these to the ground, then you're going to be able to actually have this follow along with different terrain and different surfaces. So because these are already rigged and they work with this uh, with this rig a car add on, um, you can do a lot more with these if you decide that you wanna do that. So one other thing I wanna talk about a little bit is this also comes with multiple different colors for your cars. So um, for example, let's say with this Jeep, and I need to jump back into object mode. Let's say with this Jeep, you wanted it to be a different color. Well, there's options in here for metallic, matte, and shiny, different colors. And if you click in here, you can see how all of those options show up on the list. And if I was to click on like add car paint to vehicle, right there, that's going to allow you to adjust the color of the car. So you've got the metallic, the matte, and the shiny options that are really gonna give you a lot of control. You can also create your own custom car paint color down below if you decide that you wanna do that. So these cars are gonna render out really nice. So they're gonna render out really well both in EV and in cycles. So cycles, obviously if I switch over to my render engine for cycles and I've just got an HDRI image in the background, but notice how this is gonna render with all your reflections and it's gonna look really good. And um, it'll look even better if you use one of the high poly car options. And you can also render this out with the uh, EV but there are a couple settings you're gonna to wanna to change. So the biggest thing that you're gonna struggle with here is the way that the uh, ref reflections look. And so what you wanna do is you wanna jump into your render properties and you wanna enable a couple settings. So you can enable ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections, that's gonna probably be the most important. And you wanna make sure you check the box for refraction in here. And once you do that, notice how this is rendering really well in real time inside of cycles. So once you make those setting changes, this is gonna look really good. And so if you do decide that you need more models, um, the guys from B Production also have this other add-on, which is the transportation add-on, which I will also link to in the notes down below. This add-on is gonna contain like 65 vehicles if you go with the pro version. And that's gonna have everything from cars to, it's also gonna have trucks, bicycles, emergency cars. It's got a bigger library of different things. So if you do need other other transportation things in here, um, there is an option for that as well. So I will link to that in the notes down below as well. All right, so leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this vehicle pack. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.